gorgeous and a very happy drugstore December to you. If you missed my initial announcement, I'm doing a drugstore themed video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the whole month of December. So please subscribe so you won't miss out on any drugstore themed videos this month. Today I'm doing a review and wear test for you using Sleek Makeup. This is a brand that has been so highly requested by so many of you and I was really, really happy to see that so many of you wanted to see a video dedicated to this brand. This is one that I tried out many years ago. We're talking back in 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. I had a friend from the UK back when I first started on YouTube who sent me this huge box of sleek makeup and she raved about it and she talked about how great it was, you have to try this, and it was really great. But when I made videos on it, they went underappreciated and so I never really made any other videos on the brand because nobody was really interested in them. But now that sleek makeup has popped up in Walgreens stores, Target stores, Ulta stores, pretty much every drugstore around, a lot of you have expressed interest in them. So I couldn't wait to pick them back up again, show you a full face application, conduct a wear test, and I honestly wanted to see myself if the quality was just as good as what I remember or if it could have changed. At any rate, I will let you know. Do you remember that shopping trip we took to Walgreens and how they had all the sleek makeup kits out for purchase, their holiday gift sets were there? Well, I went back and I wanted to look at a few of those as a way to try out some of the new sleek makeup items. And they were having a really good deal on this kit right here. It says 30 bucks, but I got it for half off. So $15 for a, I think this is 12 eyeshadows, three blushes, that could be a highlighter right there, and then a little highlighter palette. I thought, what better way to try sleek makeup out than to do a kit like this? Oh. I'm opening the eyeshadow palette for the first time here and we are greeted with some purples, yes. I already have a primer applied. I used the Milani one today. No real blending shades in this palette, so I'm naturally going to start with my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. This is one of the new singles, by the way. It is a little lighter than the older one, I feel like, in color, but uh, the formula is still just as good and it blends really well too and that's really all that matters. I am going to start with this matte shade here. Of course, we're applying this into the crease. Give me color. Yes! All right, we are off to a good start, thankfully. This shade looks a lot cooler in the palette than it does once you apply it to the skin, doesn't it? It, it looks a little different from here to here. It's not dramatic, it's just something I noticed right away. And then I am going to go back with that same blending shade I used in the beginning and blend out the edges. Mm, it's a toss up. Do I use the blues or the purples? You know me better than that. I'm using the purples. I'm gonna go with this shade right here. Oh, that's pretty looking. And I'm applying it to the outer half. Woo hoo hoo hoo, yeah. It just makes me so happy when something is of quality that's at a really affordable price point. It literally thrills me. Took my happy pills today, can you tell? <laughs> I take my happy pills every day. It annoys some people, it inspires some people, but if I can make one person smile, it was worth it. Oh gosh, that's pretty. All right, I am going to take the white eyeshadow one at the top there. White is one of those colors that can be really hard to make pigmented. I've noticed that with drugstore eyeshadows, they either hit it out of the park or it's a big, it's not really white looking though, it almost looks silver. Ooh, yeah, it's, well, it's kind of silver white, isn't it? Pretty, pretty. That is one thing I do have to say about the Sleek brand. I remember from using them a couple years ago that the eyeshadows have a foiled quality to them where they're really, really intense. It looks like you applied them wet, but you didn't. For my outer V, I wanna define it a little more. I think I wanna go with this eyeshadow and I'm applying it in a circular pattern. This brush needs to be washed. <laughs> I have been creating looks nonstop for the past day or so. And this poor little brush has had it. It's like, wash me, wash me, lady. Goodness, that is beautiful, isn't it? 
Wow, I, ha, huh, very impressed. You know, since we're using purples, <laughs> I am going to add in a, if I can find it, purple eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Maybelline's Lasting Drama and Polished Amethyst, one of my most favorites. And I'm going to apply that directly on the waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. I'll have everything I'm using linked for you below if you're interested. I'm also going to apply my face and then I'll come back and we will experiment with the blush and highlighter. Ta-da! Oh, we got a low battery. Okay, let, can you, do you think we can do this before the battery runs out? Ooh, we're gonna try. We're gonna start with the blush palette here. This is Take a Cheeky Peek. <laughs> That's a cute little name. Isn't this a weird looking color? for a blush. It's a mustard color. It reminds me of a MAC eyeshadow. Goldenrod, I think it is. And this is really pretty too, but I am going to use this shade because I feel like it's the most complimentary one for purple eyes. And I'm using one of the e.l.f. brushes to apply this very lightly. It's super pigmented, so I don't have much on the brush. Gosh, that's a pretty color. It's a almost pinky peach looking once you get it on the skin. And finally, the highlighting palette. This is in the shade Solstice. If you are unable to find the gift set in Walgreens stores, you can purchase this one separately because I know that this is one of their best selling highlight palettes. For application, I am going to use the e.l.f. highlighting sponge, which I really, really love. And I'm going to use this shade right here. A little bit goes a long way, I'm sure. And we're going to lightly, yeah, look. <laughs> Whoa, I barely touched the skin. Whoa, Nelly. Yep, I see why that's one of their most popular highlighting palettes. Oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to blend this in. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 yep. It's blending in a little better. Oh my goodness though, look at that. It's really pretty. All right, next cheek, I'm not going to take that much. I'm just gonna take one swipe of the highlighter. It's still too much. Yeah, the best way to blend that out is use your finger. <laughs> that is the best way. I mean, I would almost go so far as to say apply it with your finger. Maybe not something like the e.l.f. sponge. It was a little too packed on. I feel like I would have gotten a more sheer application if I had used my finger, but the effect is still really pretty on the skin. Let's just swatch that yellow blush. I mean, let's I'm curious, aren't you? Hey, yeah, it's yellow. <laughs> hey. And that is the final look using all sleek products. Loving the eyes. And I'm very impressed both with the cheek color and the highlighting shade. I still haven't quite figured out how I'm going to wear that yellow blush. I mean, even as an eyeshadow, I feel like it would make me look sick. <laughs> Just my opinion. Okay, after wearing these products all day long, this is what my face looks like at the end of eight hours. The eyeshadow did not crease, it did not muddy, and you could still see where I had applied all of the colors, which is simply wonderful. I love seeing that with an eyeshadow palette. The blush was still very vibrant on the cheeks. It did not fade, which I'm very happy to see. And the highlighter, oh man, that highlighter. <laughs> I thought I had blended it out, but man, it was still shining. You could still see that from the Space Center. Really high quality, just as good as what I remember using years ago, which is really nice to see because sometimes when these drugstore brands make the transition from one country to another, it can affect the quality, but I'm very happy to tell you that was not the case here. And if you do see sleek makeup anywhere in stores, definitely check out their eyeshadows, highlighter palettes, and blushes. If you're interested in any of the products that I use today, I will have them linked for you below. As of filming right now, I haven't been able to find the blush palette just yet. I am still looking. If I can find it, I will have it linked for you below also. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe for more videos like this in Drugstore December, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a great rest of your week.